Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Proof of chain rule differentiation. What is chain rule differentiation? Differentiating composite function is called chain rule differentiation. Differentiating composite function is called chain rule differentiation. So this is proof of derivative of composite function. Simply we say proof of chain rule. If f and g are two differentiable functions, then the derivative of their composite functions f and g is denoted by f circle g whole dash of x. Derivative of composite function of f and g is denoted by f circle g whole dash of x. And f circle g whole dash of x is defined as f dash of g of x into g dash of x. f circle g whole dash of x equal to f dash of g of x into g dash of x. We are going to prove this now. Given f and g are two differentiable functions, it means derivative of f exists and derivative of g exists. From first principle of derivative, if f of x is differentiable, then we can write like this f dash of x equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h exists. Similarly, if g is differentiable function, then we can write g dash of x equal to limit h tends to 0 g of x plus h minus g of x whole divided by h exists. f circle g whole dash of x. You observe above step f dash of x and f circle g whole dash of x f dash of x f circle g whole dash of x in place of f f circle g is there from first principle f circle g whole dash of x can be written as limit h tends to 0 f circle g of x plus h minus f circle g of x divided by h that equal to limit h tends to 0 f circle g of x plus h from the definition of composite function f circle g of x can be written as f of g of x you observe this step f circle g of x plus h can be written as f of g of x plus h from the definition of composite function minus f circle g of x can be written as f of g of x that's what we written in this step that equal to limit h tends to 0 f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x divided by h now i multiply numerator denominator with g of x plus h minus g of x you observe in this step i multiplied numerator denominator with g of x plus h minus g of x so continuation of this step that equal to limit h tends to 0 f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x divided by g of x plus h minus g of x into g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h. You observe the denominator part. I just rearranged the terms so that we can prove what we want. This step can be understood very easily from the above step. From limits chapter, we have this formula limit x tends to a f of x into g of x equal to limit x tends to a f of x into limit x tends to a g of x. I am applying the same formula here. Apply limit to the first function into apply the limit to the second function. Limit h tends to 0 g of x plus h minus g of x whole divided by h. Now you observe this pink color box and this green color box. In pink color box, in the denominator only h is there. This h can be written as x plus h minus x. 
H can be written as X plus H minus X. You observe the pink color box X plus H. In the denominator is also X plus H is there. X plus H. Now you observe in the numerator X. In the denominator also you observe X. X is there. Please observe this pink color and green color box. You will get some clarity. Here G of X plus H. Observe in the denominator. Again G of X plus H. Observe in the numerator in green color box G of X. In the denominator also G of X is there. You observe this pink color box and green color box. In pink color box F of X. In green color box F of G of X. From this pink color and green color boxes you can easily understand that whatever the expression is there in green color box that is nothing but F dash of G of X. You know how to write f dash of x from first principle. Similarly, you write f dash of g of x from first principle. f dash of g of x from first principle. What it is? f dash of g of x equal to f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x whole divided by g of x plus h minus g of x. That's what we written from the above step in the green box. What is there? That is written as f dash of g of x. You please try to understand this from first principle. You observe this limit h tends to 0 g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h is g dash of x. Therefore, f circle g whole dash of x equal to f dash of g of x into g dash of x. Hence, we proved chain rule. Whenever we want to find the derivative of a function from chain rule, we use this formula. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.